Captain Steve Lover, Director of Technology Accelerators at AFWorks. Technology is evolving faster than ever, and it's being driven by private industry. No longer is the US government the primary funder of research and development in the United States. That wasn't always the case. Back in the 1960s, for every $2 that we were spending on research and development, there was only $1 coming from private industry. And this resulted in things like the founding of Silicon Valley, GPS, Dynamite, a number of other things like the internet. Fast forward to today, for every $1 that we're spending, there's $3 coming from private industry. So for us to maintain our competitive edge, we need to continue to search for new and creative ways of engaging with private industry. So a technology accelerator is a short-term program, typically three to four months, that enables startup companies to succeed through curriculum, resources, and access to investors, mentors, and potential customers. These programs focus on something called customer discovery. It's this idea that to build the best product you can, you need to go out and talk to as many potential customers as you can and iterate on your design until you arrive at that optimal product. We as the Air Force in this case are that potential customer. What we are not doing here is identifying a specific problem with an end user and then solving that specific problem. Rather, what we're doing is identifying key broad mission areas that we care about in the Air Force. So that could be supply chain logistics or artificial intelligence. So as we notice these trends of problems that we think might be solved by industry, this is a tool to get industry rallying around and coming to us to solve that problem. So rather, the way that that airman on the flight line gets involved is once an accelerator is running around a topic that is relevant to aviation or relevant to the flight line or relevant to perimeter security, then they can get involved as a liaison. So someone that engages with these companies to give the real ground level feedback on the technology that the company is creating and the actual needs of the operator, the warfighter. I think one of the values of this program is that we're having cultural cross flow with these high speed startups. So we're identifying best practices and those liaisons that I talked about, they get to integrate with these startup technologies, go back to their units and they take that information, those best practices that they learned into their own operations. Anyone can get involved with the Tech Accelerator. In fact, the successfulness of this program depends on a diversity of people being involved because at the end of the day, that helps out the mission.